dog sitting on driver's laps is just a bad idea. Injuries to the dog will depend on how much impact occurs and from what direction, but even low impact head-on collisions can cause death to your dog from forcible compression front and back between you and the airbag if he's not first tossed out of the window or into the window first. And then this projectile being your pet dog that's on your lap would be propelled right into your chest or whatever part of your body and that, that could produce fractures abrasions? Well, the offense uh, that uh, would be considered by an officer who views this type of uh, practice, um, that would be crowding the driver's seat. At a minimum, an airbag could cause head trauma, possibly corneal ulcerations or perforations, eardrum perforations. Compression injuries to your neck, chest, and possibly even your upper abdomen. Higher impact collisions would likely break the dog's neck and kill him, and or cause other blunt force traumas of the head, neck, chest, abdomen, the spine, broken bones. You could think that you're a good driver and you're not going to get into a collision, but let's face it, uh, other people can strike your vehicle at any time. Recovery could be, it could be rather coincidental and rather an easy thing, but on the other hand, um, Fractures to the sternum, to the ribs, um, or to the neck um, could result in death. Uh, I think that would be very unlikely. The insurance implications can last for several years. Um, any ticket on your record, depending on your insurance policy and what, uh, um, what waivers you have in your driving record, um, they could make driving a very expensive uh, proposition. You could also get injuries to the face uh, which could injure your eyes. My advice to drivers is to think of your own safety, think of your passenger's safety, and think of your pet's safety. It would be a very unpleasant experience.